Good evening, everybody. Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Caves of Cud. I gotta be honest, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. I have never played this game, but I am pumped. J.R. Teladaga Hunting Wall. Hey, hey, Lady Okami. Neo. IBK. It's so good to see everyone here. Derekai. Unbelievable. Awesome. So, um, before I dive into the game, I should lower the uh, game sound. Is it is the game sound too loud? Is that what you're saying, Booty Doo? My fault. How's this? Um, is this a little bit better? Hunting, I'm going to explain that. Here we go. I got... You got here, Hunting Wall, because I am now... Um, streaming on YouTube and Twitch simultaneously. So I have um, rolled back my Twitch affiliate status so that I can multi-stream to try to reach more eyeballs. And so you'll see this both on YouTube and on Twitch. You can watch on either platform or on Periscope if you're just feeling crazy and you want to watch on Twitter, whatever you want to do. All right? Booty do. good evening, my friend. Now, is, tell me, um, so Teladaga is saying he's seen this game before. People are saying it's like a survival horror game. Um, IBK, you did not. I still received that. And that's a great point, IBK. So, if you um, were a subscriber on Twitch, all that happens is, is that um, when it goes to auto renew your subscription, you will not be able to renew it. If you want to support the stream, you can either subscribe on YouTube or you can um, go to the channel's Patreon. And um, those are the other options for support at the moment. Hey, hey, look at that. We got double hunting walls back. So no waste, IBK. Just no more um, Twitch subbing for the moment. All right. Everyone, let's dive into this. So this game is... Normally on Monday evenings, I play a roguelike game called Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. And a lot of people from that community who were telling me about um, other roguelikes to play said Caves of Cud should be a good time and so here we are let's check it out i have never played this i am brand new to this entire experience so i'm going to click new game um hey joe the boy good evening what is up we got hunting wall and not hunting wall dueling back from the dead it's good to see you both back hunting and not hunting so um we can make a new character from scratch Enon, good evening. I'm trying out some Caves of Cud here, Enon. I don't know what's going to happen. I can do random character. I can build something from my library. I can do a weekly challenge, a daily challenge, um, or a world seed. Let's just go with new character, okay? I can be a mutated human or a true kin. I don't know what either of these things mean. Mutated human appears to mean that I get mutations, moderate starting attributes, and then true kin says high attributes, access to cybernetics, 20 bonus skill points. Um, <laughs> am I like wrong in this? Does it look like one of these is way better than the other? Or are the mutations awesome? Because I'm looking at this and I'm like, true kin looks insane and mutated human looks like hard mode um yeah that's what i'm saying jr i feel you like psycho paladin people unreal well then there you go hmm 
Hey, hey, Selena, what's up? Good evening. Um, you know what? I think that um, we're not getting the... We might not be getting all of the chat right now on the screen. In the Twitch chat, you will see that there is both... Um, the YouTube chat and the Twitch chat. So I'm going to have to iron out the details with why the two chats are not displaying. I apologize. So you can see in Twitch chat, both of the chats, and in the YouTube chat and on Discord, but just not on the screen. So the bot is having some problems. Um, I'll have to fix that. Start with Truekin, see where it goes. All right. Um... Boy. All right. We're going to start. Um, let's see. We've got a couple of people saying mutated. We've got some people saying true kin. Um, I, I just don't know where to even run with this. I'm going to go true kin. And I'm going to do mutated next time. I Im imagine I'm going to die instantly. Um, Oh, Joe, I'm sorry. I'm going to go mutated next time. I bet I'm going to die so fast that it's not going to matter. Um, so this is a roguelike, so I'm assuming I'll just splat. All right, so I've got some stats here. Strength, agility, toughness, intelligence, willpower, and ego. Um, and it looks like these are the... I have 38 points, and... I guess th these are my aptitudes, minus two. Um, so what do you guys think? What do I want to do here? Your strength determines how effectively you penetrate your opponent's armor with melee attacks. Um, Imholic, Peacock, good evening, everybody. How you doing? So good to see everyone tonight. Um, just as a clarification um, the chat might be a little wonky because I'm trying to combine both YouTube and Twitch chat it used to work I started doing this again and I, I might need to iron out the details so I apologize that the chat on the game screen might not reflect all of the chat that you see either on YouTube or on Twitch that's just going to be something I have to iron out Imholic how are you doing I'm doing great Selena, I'm glad you're doing well. I'm doing great, too. Um, I'm going to go... Let's see. So, strength is hitting people's armor, how much damage, um, and how much you've resisted forced movement. I like your analysis, um, Peacock, that it's similar um, to Demon Spawn or Demigod. You know, it feels that way, right? I don't know. Um, I'm going to go tank with my first character... Although I do get cybernetics with true kin. Um, oh, Neo, the stream delay is a little bit longer. Touche. That's a that's a shame. I'm I'm sorry about that. Maybe that'll work out over time, or maybe because I'm going through restream.io, it just takes a little bit longer. Um, 1.25 seconds, Selena. Yeah. That stinks, everybody. I'd love to get that better. I'll see what I can do. All right. So, because it's my first time, I like to just be more on the melee side. Um, your sub ended, Imholic. It'll... Yeah, and you won't be able to renew it. Um, no, what happened is all subs are gone. So, uh, all Twitch subs are out because I am no longer a Twitch uh, affiliate. I have rolled back so that I can multi-stream, so I'm not Twitch exclusive. So I'm on YouTube and on Twitch. If you want to sub, if you want to support the channel, you can do that through YouTube or through Patreon. Okay, so strength, agility, toughness, ego. Your ego score determines the potency of your mental mutations, your ability to haggle with merchants, and your ability to dominate the wills of other living characters. I love how, um, you know, normally 
Uh, yeah, thanks, Imholic. Hello, everybody, wherever you are, whatever platform you're on. This is so awesome. I, I like having more access points, more eyeballs. It's great to have you all here. Um, normally, they call this stat charisma in games, ego, and it's called uh, ego. That's so funny. Uh, let's see. Willpower mo uh, modifies the cooldowns of your abilities, determines your ability to resist mental attacks, and modifies your hit point regeneration rate. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, like, a really generic start because I've never played this game, and I'm just going to put everything... Um, yeah, willpower sounds really good. I'm going to start with everything at zero, so I'm just, like, decent at most things, and then I'm going to put strength up, willpower up, agility, and toughness. Um... Oh, it's your ability to retain your sense of self, Teladaga? That's awesome. That sounds sweet. Okay, so... I have a good strength, and I'm going to boost it even more. And then we'll boost up this, this, and we're good. I'm just going with a generic, like, fight things with weapons until I understand the game. Let's go to the next step. Okay, we're going to select a subtype to continue. So, looks like there's three main factions. The Toxic Arborita of Ecumechie, the Holy City. The Ice Sheathed Arcology of Ibul. And the Crustal Mortars of Yawning Moon. Um, hey oh, Is all I can say. That looks amazing. Um, all right. I don't even know where to begin. Um, that's right, Selena and, and JR. You're both right. I mean, these are insane names. Every single class. I'm like, okay, uh, what do I do here? Um, what's a fuming godchild? Oh, okay, so if you select it, it shows you what bonuses you get. Fun to say, fun to slay. That's right. Um, so this gives you willpower, heat resistance, fasting, way, lion heart, intimidate, poison tolerance. Um, I'm kind of more of a fighter. Oh, clever. Yes, now it seems to be working, Hunting Wall, which is that in the chat on the screen, the Restream bot is showing if you're on Twitch or if you're on YouTube by the symbol. So that seems like they're it's merging the chat together successfully, which is good. Pr uh, Praetorian sounds nightly. Okay, yeah, let's see what that is. Oh, that's a perfect call. That's a perfect call, Neo. Look at this. We'll get um, a shield with shield slam and bow and rifle. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go with Praetorian from the Ice Sheathed Arcology of Ibul. And the reason I'm doing that, again, is because I don't know what I'm doing in this game. This is my first time ever playing it. And so I'm going with, like, a sword and board. Because that's my dungeon crawl stone soup fallback. All right. And now we have to select a cybernetic to continue. I don't know about you guys, but every time I wake up in the morning and I'm getting dressed right after I take a shower and put my clothes on, the next step is selecting my cybernetic. All right, let's see. What do we want? Um, My fists are the sword and my chest is the board. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Um, let's see. Let me just pick one. Let me just pick one. Uh, so I'm going to say, like, stabilizer arm locks. Um, this is good for agility. All right. Well, we don't need it um, for, I'm, I'm sorry, for ranged accuracy. Throw range. Move speed. See in the dark.
Oh, you know what? Um, look at this. This um, optical techno scanner, it says it gains access to the precise hit points, armor, and dodge values of robotic creatures, and you automatically identify artifacts. Um, this kind of could be cool. Hey, hey, Kurashiro, how are you? I'm so glad you could make it. They don't allow Unicode characters and usernames anymore, hunting? What's this world coming to, my friend? I like this because I feel like I'm going to fight robots a lot. I don't know, but I want to know their stats. And then identifying artifacts sounds fine, so I'll just pick this. Um, and here we are. We finally made our first character. This is like making a new character in Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, where you have to pick your background, your species, you know, and so it does take a bit. Uh, here is the character build. This is funny. You can, like, tweet out your build to people. I don't know if this is so you can... You know, people can play along with you with a similar build. I don't know what the... But I like the social element that they've built into this game. Um, all right, let's do it. Okay. Holy smokes, look at this. I'm playing on a computer from the late 80s here. Character creation. Choose starting location. Joppa. Recommended for new players. Um, yes, Kuroshiro, and... I'm going to need to probably adjust that. I, I wanted to have the Discord channel be able to... You, people can chat with the chat in Discord, but I might need to turn off announcements if it's becoming too annoying. I'm a Discord noob, I'm sorry. Hey, D DJ, what's up, my friend? How you doing? All right, I think we're going to have to go with Joppa here because it's recommended for new players, and I'm a new player. <laughs> All right. Um, ooh, look at these loading bars. Yeah, this looks sweet. We loaded it all up. Nice. You're looking good, hunting wall. Uh... Yeah, Kurashiro, the Miibot, does a lot of work for me on uh, Discord. It, it sorts everything out. This looks like the beginning of Dwarf Fortress when you're building the world, and I love it. Um, Praises due to the Most High, thy Argent Father, me. Yeah, me, me 6 is a nice guy, and this is from Shekhina. Does anybody know Shekhina? I don't. I'm assuming it's some kind of in-game holy character, but we'll find out. Here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, here comes the Dwarf Fortress feel for sure. <laughs> On the 27th of Tishru Eux, you arrive at the Oasis Hamlet of Joppa, along the far rim of Magrai, the Great Salt Desert. Wow. Interesting. Hey! DJ, thanks for the super chat, my friend. I appreciate that. All around you, moisture farmers tend to groves of Viridian water vine. There are huts wrought from rock salt and brine stock. On the horizon, cuds jungle strange chrome steeples and rusted archways to the earth. Further and beyond, the fabled spindle rises above the fray and pierces the cloud ribbon sky. Okay. Well, let me ask one question of everybody. How's the the game sounds and the music? Um, it, is the game volume okay? And my volume for the voice okay? That's the first question. Just making sure we're all set there. <laughs> nice sub emote, Hunting Wall. And then as I play this, I'm really enjoying the lore that they're giving us in the game right now. So this is... A, it's good, Neo. Thank you, my friend. Perfect, Kuroshiro. Excellent. So this game is supposed to be a post-apocalyptic 
kind of thing. I believe it's like a sci-fi roguelike. I don't know much more than that. Um, it's at peak atmosphere levels. Yeah, it feels real peak. Look at this purple kitty up here, by the way. Um, okay. So I'm going to press space and then F1 for help. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this looks like the game screen, everybody. There is a lot of information here. I'm going to have to just take this in. Now it says I can push F1 for help. Um, and here's some information. So it says switch to the alternate key set if you don't have a numpad. I do have a numpad. Hotkey your activated abilities. You're just testing hunting wall. Yeah, figure out the new system. Oh no. Um, restream is... is the Restream bot's just testing stuff out. That's pretty funny. Um, press A to view your activated abilities on the Manage Abilities menu. To bind an ability to a key, scroll down and then press Enter. And then press the key which you wish to bind to the ability. So it's kind of like setting a macro in Dungeon Crawl. That's cool. Scroll through your character menus. Press X to view your sheet. I for your inventory. And E for your equipment. Q for your quests. K for your tinkering menu. And press P to view your skills and powers. Oh, sweet Moses. Um, yeah, I just see the text as well. Hunting wall. Look at things by pressing L. Interact with most objects by pressing space. Press Alt for some additional information about the area. Find a sidebar view you like. Press um, asterisk to scroll through sidebar views or uh, forward slash to hide the sidebar. Oh boy. All right, so let me just try this. Um, okay, so... You know, that's a great question, JR. I personally love having a numpad, but you really, you know, I think it's a matter of taste. All right. Yeah, I agree, Kurashiro. I use numpad all the time if I'm, like, crunching, doing calculator stuff. All right, so let me look at my inventory. I'm pushing I to open up my inventory, and I have an energy cell, a chemical cell... A combustion cell. I have some food cubes. Hey, is anybody hungry? Um, I've got some food cubes to spare. Wouldn't you enjoy that? F is for my light source, and I have torches. 34 torches. I have steel shield. Um, let me look at this. Can I click on my steel shield by pushing... Um, I, and then can I push alt to get more information or how do I get more info on this? Okay. I push enter and then it says diamond three circle minus two. Um, can I look at it? All right, here we go. Wow. This is interesting. All right, a large shield meant to be secured in your hand. I should hope so. Shields only grant their AV when you successfully block an attack. So they only grant their attack value, I guess? And it's in perfect condition, maybe? 12 pounds is what it weighs. Um, let me check what the effects are. No active effects. Okay. Um, huh. All right, well... I gotta tell you, I don't know what any of this stuff means, so we're gonna have to figure it out as we go. I have a Blaze Injector, a Hulk Honey Injector, huh, a Rubber Gum Injector, these sound like breakfast cereals, um, a Salve Injector Value, ooh, good call, Neo, it's Armor Value, thank you, not Attack Value, what am I thinking? Alright, so maybe this Diamond 3 is its Armor Value. I got Fresh Water. Okay, so yeah, this is um, what you guys were telling me before makes a lot of sense in that it's survival and roguelike. So they're, they're, it's more heavy on the survival element. I've got water. I've got torches. I've got food. 
right? Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup team seems to be trending away from that direction of game philosophy, and then this is kind of still steeped in that. Um, all right. So, do I have any quests? I have no quests. Um, do I have any powers? Um, I have a bow and rifle. I have long blade proficiency. And um, I'm skilled with bows and rifles. I have zero skill points remaining. Yeah, Kurushiro, I think that's a good call. I think that is definitely a way that we could read the shield as like it absorbs two damage coming in or something. There's infinite timeline looping. Well, now you're just blowing my mind. 